Malik Neighbors has been a very fast riser in the 2024 NFL Draft. Listed at six foot two hundred plus or minus a few inches or pounds, usually in the combine they're like another inch shorter and a few pounds down, you know. So uh, that's that's most likely to change quite a bit. Uh, very fast riser in this draft, especially around the week three mark when he went off for two hundred thirty nine yards and two touchdowns against Mississippi State. And I have yet to watch any of his film, so we are just going to begin that today. I got Arkansas and Mississippi State pulled up, which uh, Arkansas had eight catches, 130 yards, two touchdowns, and then obviously Mississippi State, 13 for 239 and two touchdowns. So uh, we'll save that one for last. We'll start off with week four against Arkansas. And obviously, you know, we're going to have Jaden Daniels, uh, Brian Thomas Jr. to keep an eye on potentially because I haven't watched film on either of them yet. So I'm just going to start with Malik Neighbors. Turn that down a bit. Okay. Um, not much to really break down there probably. See in the slot on this? I believe so. Oh, yeah. It's very helpful. Um, shout out real quick to Draft Prospects for the film because everybody's going to see this and want to thank them. So it lines up in the slot. And third and four. Has time. A little comeback route. Low throw. Um, Neighbors, maybe gets hit in the gut maybe with it. Knocks the wind out of him. You can see there's great separation. Ball's just low nope. and it's, it's a ball typically neighbor. Did that like jam his finger or something? Maybe. I don't know. But it clearly who's fine. Yeah, some discomfort. Goes in motion. Back of the slot. Okay. How did he get over there? He was just running vertical. Oh. Okay. Good catch and run. Well, not catch and run, but good catch on the run, I guess you could say. Lined up outside. Good release. Good catch. Great catch. Yeah, what a catch. Good route. Um, I mean, that's <laughs> that's my expert analysis. Good catch. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, lined up back on the outside again. See him come inside a little bit. No, oh, I was gonna say no way he comes down with that one. Um, I mean, if it was a better throw, probably comes down with it. Hit him more in stride, in maybe like this area more than just here. But good play by the DB, and I don't know if that's pass interference I don't know the college rules on that as well but getting held kind of bounces off his helmet it looks like maybe his chest stop hopping um, usually players that just hop don't tend to do I mean they just got to fix that I guess but that little hop, DB, if he's impressed, is just going to absolutely kill him. Um, yeah, that's something that you're always kind of taught once you hit the league is just stop hopping on your release like that. You're not a bunny rabbit. But gets the inside. Good speed. Tracking the ball well. You can look at those bulging eyes. And... Couldn't come down with it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, right off the face mask. But yeah, that's some good coverage. Lined up on the outside. I don't know if this is too loud. I'm going to turn it down a bit more. Comeback route. Not, not a great throw. Back in the slot. Can't really see him. Now he's over there. Oh. So, a little comeback route. 
comes down with it. Good catch. Very soft coverage. Probably will end up running some little hitch route or not. Okay, deep hitcher comeback. I think that was another comeback. Good catch. And back on, kind of in the slot, but still on the outside. Great out. Oh, okay. Kind of selling, making them think it's a run a little bit more. It's that play action. Wasn't looking. Nope, just... I don't know. I don't know what that's called. Because it's not a pick because you're not running into anybody. But maybe just kind of a decoy or something at first. And then finds the open space. Great dance moves, which is very important. Yeah, that's that's what I would say. Okay, and the slot on the right. Cuts to the outside corner. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. That was a great throw, too. Yeah, big Jaden Daniels guy. I've seen some of his highlights. Haven't really gone in depth on his film yet. But, I mean, very athletic. Needs to put on some weight. I'd probably serve him well. But, pretty high, very high upside on him. But, good, good cut there. Kind of brings his arm in so he can't get a hold of it. Gets around him. Tracks the ball. Great catch. And, not that it's important in college, but you got two feet down. Alright, they're going to show it a few more times just so we know that he's very good. Comes in motion back into the slot. Okay, okay, stayed in. I don't know why it's highlighted. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's rewatch that one. Fakes the inside cut. Goes back outside. Wide open. Stayed inside after the catch. Good catch and run. Body control. Decent release. Okay. Does a good job selling the vertical route on that. Sells the vertical, comes back. Good catch. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure that was supposed to come back to the football, but you know. All right, Mississippi State. Uh, yeah, big game, <laughs> to say the least. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, gotta turn this one down too. Can't tell where he's lined up. I don't know if it was circled. Okay, so he's the third receiver in. We'll come back, look for the ball. A uh, little hitch, not a comeback. Comebacks to the outside. Yeah, there's a good way to get rid of it real quick as the pressure's coming down onto him. Lined up on the outside. <laughs> They're really stacking the box here, to say the least. I mean, to be fair, so are they. If offense had a box. Goes in motion. Little toss. Okay. I mean, I don't think that plays as important for his uh, scouting report. Almost slipped. But gets the first down, so... Good blocking. I think that's him right there. 
I'm not sure. We'll pat, I'll rewind. I don't know if he's on the outside. Okay. So he's down here. We saw him in the slot a lot. That rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Saw him in the slot a lot against uh, Arkansas in that last game. But from the looks of it, he'll be on the outside a lot more against Mississippi State. Come back, a little hitch route. Okay, good job getting a few extra yards after. So he's down here. I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So he's still in the slot, but the outside guy on here. God, that boy is lanky. <laughs> Eat a sandwich, my boy. Ooh, <laughs> uh, uh, ignore that noise I just made, but <laughs> I, I, uh, I saw that going a lot worse than it did, and he does a good job seeing that it's meant for him, staying out of the way. That was almost bad. That's why little drag routes to each other are dangerous, but wow, gives him a piggyback ride to Slenderman. Wide open. Wow. Stomp your little feet. Maybe they'll replay it. That'd be nice. Yep. Okay, so he's the third guy in. So yeah, like the commentator said, they're, it's man coverage. They're clearing out those two so he can go on. Nope, that's not man. It's zone. Um, but it clear those two clear out these two, leaves him open. Those two got the flats. He's got the down flat. He's got the middle flat. These two guys take this zone, so he's gonna be wide open right there. And could have maybe thrown it a little early. I don't know if uh, Daniels had pressure in the pocket or anything, but if you can get that ball to him earlier, doesn't have to worry about staying in right there. And the one-on-one -on -one matchup right there is a lot easier for neighbors to make. But this tackle still gets a lot of yards, though. I don't know where he's lined up. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. Back to the slot. Back to the slot here, two yards off the ball. Ugh. Never, I, I never liked that. Just line up, like, right there. I don't know if he can or not. I'm not a rules expert. But kind of selling inside a little bit. Breaks outside. Goes back up. And great body control. Tracking the ball. Oh, most important part. That arch. Yeah, what a catch. Good play by Malik Neighbors. Are they going to replay it? I think he's a 10 out of 10, not a 12 for 12. Uh, this is why I have no friends. Yeah, good route. Kind of double cut. Fake inside. Fake outside. Go in the middle. And then good ball tracking. Catch over the DB. Great ball. Great catch. Good play. I'm going to show it 90 times. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if he catches it or not. Probably since they're showing it. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh. Okay, so... So there, he's in the slot again, which is, I guess, where he likes to line up. But same route, exact same route. What a play. Exact same route. A little inside-outside cut. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, kind of runs inside, goes outside, then cuts back up the middle. Oh, man. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure that's the same DB as well. But yeah. 
Yeah, how roaring. I like the helmets for Mississippi State. Yeah, same matchup, same route. What a play. Oh, he's into distress. Yeah, man coverage. Outside guy. Does he take him? Yep, takes him on the inside. Free safety. I don't know if he's. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I. I guess he assumes that this unknown tight end is more of a threat than Malik Neighbors, who's already been toasting them. So he's like, eh, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit in the middle, which is probably his responsibility. You know, two man, two man, one deep zone. But this is your zone. Your zone isn't just between the hashes. The whole field is your zone. So you go where you need safety coverage at, and that would be this area. Probably not this one. But kind of a little bit of a defensive breakdown, but still a good route. Good play nonetheless. Do you make a... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, is he better make a tackle on special teams? Lines up in the out, on the outside, I believe. Or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, he's still in the slot again. I think 17's back on the outside. He's doing the same route. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, he likes to get yards from the looks of it. So, he's not just going to lay down once he catches the ball. He'll catch it and try to make a play, which is definitely something you want to see. But, looks like he did a little uh, hitch route there. Faked the route they'd been doing all day and then changed it. Oh, that is not something you like to see. Okay, so he's on the outside over here, not in the slot. That is a big boy. And that's a little boy. But comes across. The whole, every other receiver is just pushing everybody up. Those three pushes all four of them up. He's coming down on a blitz. He's coming across, wide open. That is not what you like to see at all. That's the dangers. Don't put your head down. Well, just be smart. You got to be smarter than that. Yeah, and that's why. Straight to concussion protocol in the league. But, yeah, they're just dropping him back too far. He's open. And, I mean, in a situation like that, maybe try to fall to the side instead of just nose diving. But <laughs> you're not getting out of this, so just lay down, and he could do a lot better. That could break your arm. Um, he could land on your ankles. His head could hit your head. Your head could eat the ground. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here, and he's lucky that none of it did. So uh, probably, I think it's, it's this one. Going deep again. Oh, my goodness. Yep. So we can't see the whole route because I don't have access to all 22 film. But um, on the outside, showing that he can win from the outside too instead of just a slot, just a slot guy. Uh, I love the title, no neighbors. But zone coverage beats him deep. Maybe they'll probably show the replay. <laughs> it's the second quarter. My God. Okay, yeah. Faking like it's a. I don't know about curl. I'd say more like. Kind of fake. The way he's faking that, they're probably. He wants him to think he's running just like a straight out. Like even with this line to the sideline. So it brings him down a little bit, gives him that chance to burst out in front of him, wide open. He's a lot faster than you'd think for a guy that's kind of like a playmaker. That's crazy. That is wild. In the in the first half, in the first half. Football I've ever seen by a wide receiver. He has ten catches for 191 yards. 
So he's lined up on the outside again right here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Okay, I guess they're just not going to show us that play. Jump to the third quarter. Good route. Uh, I think that this guy just sucks. Okay. Good little crossing. Man, they definitely took him away at halftime. Little screen. Ooh. Good tackle. Yeah, uh, from the looks of it, Mississippi State definitely got rid of him in the second half. I mean, 191 in the first half and then only, what, 47? <laughs> 40, maybe like 50 in the second half. Yeah, not not the best, but and that's what happens when you... God damn. Still gets the first down. Catch for neighbors as he has 12, 12 clutch catches. Yeah, for so two catches in the third quarter. LSU to get here early this morning. So What's going on here? Fire early. Oh, Jeff. But he can't wear number seven because he's an offensive tackle, so he's wearing the patch. Daniels down going deep. And right oh, into the arms how? There is no way. It's great quality. <laughs> No way he catches that. She's blown away. She's blown away too. Watch her reaction. She says a little prayer. <laughs> oh, no way. What a catch. Surely they show the replay. Yeah, he's hype. I don't blame him. Yep, faking on the little inside hitch route there. I mean, that's great coverage, but just an even better play. Just what a pass. Great ball placement by Daniels. Man. No way he catches a touchdown here. I, I think he's already had his two. That's him right there. Yeah. In the slot. Great blocking. Hold his hands. So yeah, uh, I think that's it. Look at that guy right there. Yep. So that's it so far. Uh, just based on these two games, I would say that if he, if all his other games have been like this, then because I mean he had big games, over a hundred yards in all games but three. So, and I mean fifteen hundred yards, fourteen touchdowns on the year ridiculous he's gonna gonna most likely be a top 10 pick i currently have him at number uh six on my big board uh based on like kind of consensus consensus rankings uh i got him at six mixture of consensus based off my opinion on what i've heard and little highlight plays i've kind of seen so uh, I think he'll be a great player, going the top ten for sure. Uh, if it weren't for Marvin Harrison Jr., he'd be the clear number one receiver. Maybe a guy like uh, uh, Romo Dunze or Keon Coleman is in that conversation for receiver two. But from the looks of what I just saw, Malik Neighbors is definitely that guy. And I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll watch some other games of his. I mean, I probably will in my own time, but. Uh, yeah, from the looks of it, going to be a great player. Probably will measure in it maybe like 5'11 uh, and 5'8. That's my prediction. I have no idea. And I bet he'll bulk up a little bit, maybe get up to 205 if this is actually 200 pounds. But, I mean, for my senior year, I was 190 and I wrote down 200. So you can put whatever number you want. So, uh, yeah, three-year player out of LSU, Malik Neighbors. Very young, three years older than me, which is crazy to think about. But, yeah, definitely keep an eye on him, and I will see you guys in the next video.